Back-to-back -back reviews. I'm sorry, women, for those of you that were hoping to get some more eye candy of my neighbor Kyle. He's not here for this review. You have my wife instead, which she's equally impressive physically. Just you're a lady and not a guy. But anyway, that's besides the point. This In my last awkward. review with my neighbor Thank Kyle, you. we reviewed John Carpenter's 1982 classic, The Thing. And I alluded to that perhaps we would review the original, which I also have on VHS, although this copy proved to be... It didn't work. Something's wrong with it. Oh, yeah, that's so right. So we ended up having to watch it on Tubi. Download Tubi. It's free, but it did have commercials, so... This movie Not came out many, in 1951. It is called The Thing from Another World. And it is directed by Christian Nimby. Okay. Although it is debated that he was not the real director. It was possibly really directed by the producer Howard Hawks. How do you There's not debate. Know? Okay. People don't really know. Hmm. So that's besides the point. This Strange. movie is black and white. It has an hour and 27 minute runtime. You can't compare these films because they are different movies. They are both based on the 1938 novella. If you watch my review on this, it was based on a novella by a guy named John W. Campbell. This is a loose adaptation. The novel was more true to this. This, the main thing creature, was more plant-based that fed on human blood but had a humanistic form. Yeah. Whereas in this movie, the creature can take on other forms and is a shape-shifting and it kind of molds onto them and absorbs their presence. <laughs> it's a movie of a different time. I kept telling myself that because of it is reflective in my review, but then it's also not true because I love classic films. I'm just going to go right out and say this movie, for me, it did not hit home. It was very slow. A lot of dialogue. I'm two out of five. It was not my favorite movie. Yeah. And... I compare it to other movies that came out in 51, such as 1951's Billy Wilder directed. I can't even find it. It's Where is typewritten. It? But it's you typewritten can't, and you I can't. can't find it. <laughs> um, I think it's under the big top. Wait a minute. Or just big top. I don't know. Anyway, Kirk Douglas stars in that movie. Another 51 movie, African Queen, came out in 51 with um, Humphrey Bogart. That's a classic. Cubatus, another 1951 classic. However, most people say critics, a lot of critics, disagreed with me. This mm. movie has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 87%, IMDb 7.1 out of 10, and even Google users with 99 people reporting in, the critics average from average Joes putting their review on Google, 4.6 out of 5. This wow. movie was also selected by Weird. the Library of Congress as a historically significant film for preservation in their vault. And really? AFI said it's number 87 on the list of thriller movies. So, and it's, it's not thrilling at critics all. Critics regard this movie as one of the best films of 1951 and one of the best sci fi films of the time in the 1950s. I just, mm. I don't know. The best part for me was the female actress, a lady by the name of. Of course it was. Hang on. Brother. <laughs> I wrote a. Okay. So, the <laughs> Billy Wilder movie that also came out in 51 is called Ace in the Hole. Uh, that's a great movie from 51. If you want to watch a good movie from 51, I recommend that over this, although it's a completely different genre. This movie was just too I'm slow. I'm sure tens of you want to watch a great movie from 51. <laughs> Margaret Sheridan, <laughs> one of the female leads. Uh, maybe you do. Who the knows? best thing in this movie is her in a pencil skirt and a flannel top serving everybody coffee. Oof. Oof. Wow. So... <laughs> And the, this movie is also... That was the also, most sexist thing I have ever heard. <laughs> very sexist. <laughs> Partially shot at Glacier National Park and in frozen icebox sets in Los Angeles, the film features one of the first instances of a fully retardant bodysuit with a stuntman huh. set on fire. I thought you said fully retarded for a second. Ret fire I was about retardant. To get super offended. Fire retardant. Fire retardant. Okay, <laughs> okay another All important. Right, I'm with you this movie is also maybe having subliminal messaging as McCarthyism and the Big Red Scare was going on. The thing could be equated to maybe it looks like your friend, but he's a communist trying to spread his propaganda. Oh. Also, it's a dig at six years earlier was the nuclear bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I and know. it's kind of painting the scientists in a bad light for messing with nature. And perhaps they were showing their personal sentiment against nuclear war. Oh, so wow. I think some reasons for that regard. This movie is very important to a lot of people. Oh, well, um, that makes sense. It wasn't terrifying for me. They're laughing and having a good time. And then this creature is just 
it's not terrifying like this movie, right? Yeah, and they're, but you can't they're compare smiling the and they're joyful like the whole what time. What did you rate this movie? I give it a one out of five. <laughs> I was really bored. <laughs> and my neighbor Kyle, you're not here. You're here in spirit. He also said he was in the twos to threes out of five. Range. Kyle probably gives it a 2.3 yeah, out of five. Sometimes he'll give decimal ratings. <laughs> That's what I expect Kyle to say. Um, yeah, it was really boring compared yeah. to this one. This was a lot more exciting. And you have the eye candy of Kurt Russell and whatever his this guy's name is. Kurt He's Russell. Very hairy. He's got a beard and long, luscious <laughs> hair. And oof, just nice to look at that face. Oh, another important thing. Yes. Two, this was the number one sci-fi movie that came out in 51. Because in 51, two other important sci-fi films also came out. The Day yeah. the Earth Stood Still and When Worlds Collide. But this one was the highest grossing one. And this was number 46 at the box office in 51. This was more exciting because you actually see the thing. You do see the thing in this, but it's basically just a guy in a mask. Mm. A very big guy in a mask. I mean, I understand that back in 51 it was very or 52, Movies were it was a lot more tamer. primitive. But yeah. yeah, but I mean, the kids were actually <clears throat> like in and out of the room for this. And they actually got like somewhat scared. It was still like pretty cheesy. At any moment, but... were you frightened or having jump scares with this movie? No, yeah. I was... Just looking at I just the hairstyles. Don't, and I, was I don't really understand bored. why this movie is 87% <laughs> and is culturally significant. Maybe I'm wrong. Tear me up in the comments. I don't really have anything more to say about it, do you? That's not it. Really. We're not even going to do a 10 I was a 1 out of 5. I got a double review. I'll go, I'll go 1 out of 5 just for the hairstyles. The women's hairstyles were just something to look at, but that was all. It was boring. And the copious cups of coffee that were served. Mm, that, I that love ups coffee. My... I may miss it so much. Yeah, when you birth that new baby, show everybody. Stand. Ugh, this has nothing to do with... Oh, it does. This could be the thing. <laughs> Until next time, folks. <laughs> There's something in there. It's alive. Ah! We'll see you then. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.